Greetings and welcome to Dread War Gaming and this Dread's Guide to Gaslands Episode 2 in which I'm going to have a little look at vehicles, where you can get them and show you a few that I've picked up along the way. So let's have a little look at what I've picked up. Alright guys, as you can see I've put together quite a collection. This is one of those really useful boxes, an A4 deep one. So I've got quite a few cars already and I've already separated out a few that I'm going to show you but these are the the ones I'm not going to show you so there's some in here that I bought new um, using my special deal with the local toy shop uh, which I'll be speaking about very shortly I've also got some second-hand ones from another local toy shop which I'll also talk about very shortly and um, some from yeah your typical cheapy shops you know because they often do sort of their own versions and so do Tesco's funny enough and some places like that so just keep your eyes peeled let's have a little look at a few right let's start with a few that I picked up the Hot Wheels ones that I picked up new so this one is the H Hot Wheels 50 concept but not one that's straight out the packet nice for gas lands so that's that one next up we've got the radical radical racer which is also again straight out the packet perfect for gas stands really it's got that look and it uh, another one which uh, I've seen in the uh, gas lands book is this one see this one they make it look like a cut and shut um, which is the aristo rat so that's another good one to get straight out of the box the wheels would probably want changing though because they're a bit naff, they're a bit, especially these front ones. But yeah, it's a good start. Um, the Bone Speeder, another good one. Uh, that's very similar to this one, the Bone Shaker. Which, again, as you can see, they're similar in shape and they're also similar to in a sense this one the 32 Ford which I've got a cheap knockoff actually as well I've got this one this is um, from a uh, what company is this one this one uh, Mattis Mateso knuckle dragger but yeah that's another standing decent one nice engine on it too um, got this one also nice little engine on a bit more modern looking okay so we move those ones oh, I'll push those ones over there there we are out of the way next in we've got some trucks so got this one from Jurassic Park which has got some nice see them windows I think once that's sprayed up, they can easily be corrugated metal. So no need to worry about blocking them up. So, you know, that saves you a lot of work on the side windows. So if you haven't got a driver to be seen, then you only need to block up that front window with something. With a slip window, metal slip window or something like that. And sort out that roof rack, colour color that in even. You know, it won't notice, you can colour that in and it will look like hard roof. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a cool thing, the Jurassic Park set. Also came with this one, I believe, came in the same set. Um, or maybe it came from a different set, I can't remember now. But anyway, I've seen that one was in the Gaslands book too. Painted up, it looked really cool. So it's got, you know, these, um, these uh, sand plates or snow plates, or whatever they are for driving in the snow or sand or whatever. There's some boxes around it and some luggage and stuff very cool and this one bit of a low rider truck bit bad boy nice uh, paint job on it uh, nice amount of weapon on the back or something like that but yeah I just thought it was really cool and I like the paint on it so I might just do it like a chipping job on it or just you know muck this up with some pigments or something like that rather than uh, go too heavy on it and respray it or anything like that because I do like that um, then we got this one which is another Hot Wheels one. This is the 17 Ford F-150 Raptor, which I think is 
probably in need of some slightly larger wheels actually since it's jet tight like that but yeah I mean it's cool straight out of the pack works for gas land and then this one which has got a bike on the back which you know in gas hands you can have bikes so I just thought you know it's cool that it's got that on the back carrying it as such as cargo let's move them aside now, I did talk about some uh, cheaper brand ones so I'll show you a few of them quickly this one believe it or not is from Tesco's which I think is pretty cool not bad um, and we've got this one this is uh, from Metal Machines Cool enough. Cheapy plastic these ones though. These metal machines ones are not very good plastic. Uh, this is a land slinger. This isn't from uh, Matisso again. Well, but that one's already got guns on it. Awesome. Can't grumble. Uh, this fella is another metal machines one. I thought it'd be pretty good if I was doing like um, a Space Marine or something based uh, car maybe or something like that, I don't know. Or maybe even these grooves here would be cool for holding up rocket launchers or something like that, I don't know. I just thought it was a cool looking car for gas lands. As is this one. It's another Metal Machines one, so it's got that cheapy plasticiness, but it's got some cool details, the engine and stuff like that. Exhaust, not bad. And last but not least, this one as well is the last of the uh, cheapy ones, metal machines again. Then I've got some um, metal um, Hot Wheels cars, some decent ones. So, oh, oh, bollocks. <laughs> These are some muscle cars. So this one's got a nice little engine sticking out, see? This is the... Oh. The Plymouth Barracuda, 1969. Very cool. The one I was also dropping there is the Roger Dodger. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely supposed to be a Dodger, I'll take it then. Yeah, that's class. 50th anniversary, so it's got loads of goldy bits on it. And then there's this one, another one for a cool paint job flatbed as well so you can mount some weapons in it not bad at all um, and let's have a look what else we got over here in the muscle cars so got this one here what's this this is the 69 mercury very nice yeah, a couple more lovely lovely and they're all only 50 cent as well really handy so right this one an old matchbox Super GT, 1985, made in England. Lovely. Another matchbox, 1985, Super GT. Slightly different though. Slightly. There we are. Slight difference. Um, we've got this nice, heavy duty jeep like it's made in France don't know what that make is there um, but yeah nice heavy metal truck very cool nice mounting plate there for a weapon uh, this little sucker Corgi made in Britain Pontiac Firebird ooh, ooh, ooh. cool huh What have we got here? 1981 Matchbox BMW M1. Pew! Nice. It's already chipped up. <laughs> Very cool. Very orky that one actually. I like that one. Um, oh, what's this one here? This one looks a bit newer. It is. Dodge. That's new. That's a Hot Wheels. That's a, I don't know how that got in that pile. Uh, oh yeah, I've got two of these. So they've got this really cool luggage on the top. I can take that off um, and put that on someone else. It's a bit broken anyway, but yeah, cool. It's a Jeep. Love Jeeps. <laughs> um, this one's awesome. This was a really cool find, second hand. 
Look at that. Uh, Matchbox Modified Racer 1987. How cool. That's brilliant. Really like that one. Happy. Um, also got this little Corgi one. The Renault 5 Turbo. <laughs> yeah. I used to see them racing about the streets, so yeah. It's got a bit of a damage on the front though. But that's fine. No worries. And this one here is really cheapy. It's made by Gooseful <laughs> uh, in Spain. It's a Spanish one. It's uh, very, very cheapy, but it's got this engine that could be very handy. So, yeah, there's that one. This one's a bit odd. Another cool engine on the back, though. So, yeah, that's uh, a matchbox one. Another matchbox one. This one's a 1984 Dodge Daytona. Cool. And last, but not least, a Matchbox Quick Quick Sander. So that looks like it's just made for going across the dunes and stuff, doesn't it? So, yeah, I've got some cool cars to be getting on with, guys. And you can do the same for very cheap because none of these cost more than... One euro fifty for me, so that's the maximum I paid for any of these cars. So you're wondering where do I pick up these cars? If you don't know already and you haven't got kids that have already got some, or you never stepped foot in a toy shop, or you don't really go to dollar stores, then there you go. I've answered you. Those are the places you really want to be looking. So go into your toy shops and your dollar stores, your euro shops. Have a little look in there because a lot of these things are made by Chinese companies. They're very cheap. You can sometimes pick them up in a pack of four even for a couple of quid, you know, really cheap. So unless you want to go looking for specific motors and cars, like I did a little bit, but realistically, most of those were just ones I, uh, like I didn't do any eBay search or anything like that. Those are all ones I picked up from local toy shops. Speaking of which, local toy shops are a fantastic place to get your vehicles and you can sometimes strike a deal. As I have done, with the owners of Toy Master in Ireland. Now Toy Master are offering my viewers a buy one, get one free on Hot Wheels vehicles if they just use the Dread Wargaming code. So if you go in there and you quote Dread Wargaming, you can get buy one, get one free on Hot Wheels cars. That's really awesome. There's also other places to check out like secondhand shops or um, your charity shops and places like that, or even uh, it depends on the sort of hobby stores that you have around. Like we have one hobby store called Diecast Models for You, uh, run by a guy called Ray Elliott. And Ray's a really nice chap, and he, he has a lot of the, um, the tanks and airfix models and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of like diecast trains and cars and cabinets that are quite expensive. Not the sort that I would want to use for gas lands, of course. But what he does do is he gets a basket, a shopping basket, full of crappy old ones as you saw in my video there some of those are from Ray so they're 50 cent each so I go in there and I pick up a few old ones from Ray say hello how you doing blah 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 we have a little, little chat it's just nice to support your local hobby stores especially if they're doing something that you know is helpful to you so you know go and check out what you might have in your local area see if you can strike up a deal with somebody just be a little bit polite get chatty see what happens guide to Gaslands and in this one I'm gonna go go through blah, blah, blah. that's what I'm gonna do 